This video is going to be on calculating work again, but we're going to be calculating it for work done against gravity. So let's say we have a 10 kilogram mass, and we want to lift it up, say, 2 meters. And we're trying to find work. So we need to find the force, the distance that that force is acting. Right? So we have that distance, it's 2 meters, but we want to figure out what force you would need to lift up this 10, to 10 kilogram mass. Now an interesting thing is that someone just kind of holding this mass, ooh man this person's oddly built apparently, right? To hold a 10 kilogram mass, let's think about the forces on that mass. So we know that there's going to be a force of gravity, right? And that's going to be equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity, which means it'll be 10 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared, which means there will be a downward force from gravity of 98.1 newtons. And if we want to keep that, if we want to keep that mass from falling, we've got to exert a force up. So this is the force of u, and you've got to match that force. So you also have to have a 98.1 newton force upward. Now, if you remember Newton's first law, right? If we cancel out this force, right, so we've now canceled out the force of gravity, there's now no net force on the block. So if we get it moving, like hypothetically, right, it should move in uniform motion. So what that means is that lifting the block up right, if we take it from here and we take it to here, that's the same block and the same arm, right? it actually takes the same amount of force as it is just to hold it. So to lift an object against gravity, requires a force equal to its weight. Right, and its weight is just mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So if we go back to our example, to lift a 10 kilogram mass, right, we're going to have to apply a force of 98.1 newtons. And that force will cancel out the force due to gravity. And then we can lift the box up at constant velocity. So now we have our force and our distance so we just have to plug them in. So you have 98.1 newtons times 2 meters. That's going to give us 196.2 joules, right? Because a joule is a newton meter. So let's do another example. Say we're lifting up. A box. We're going to lift it half a meter. And the box has a mass of two kilograms. To find the work, we do the force times the distance. But for work against gravity, we just said that the force required to lift the box is going to be the force equal to its weight, right? So just enough force to cancel out the pull from gravity. So if we're going to generalize this, we could say that work equals that force, which is mass times acceleration due to gravity times distance. Now this equation can always be used if we're doing work against gravity. So in this particular example, we would have 2 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared right and this is our force times 0 0.5 meters and we'll get 9.81 joules and just as a reminder from the last video if we're just holding the block if we're just holding it out we're actually not doing any work because there's no distance